Hello everybody, my name's uh, Antwin, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, Episode 5, as Poland now, as the Wendish Empire. I don't know if I'm going to introduce it as the Wendish Empire or Poland at the beginning of every video from now on. I'm not 100% too sure, the titles are probably going to still remain the same, but that's kind of not really important right now. But last time, we were able to form the Wendish Empire. We went into severe debt to do it, because somebody, was it, was it last time? I think it was last time someone had just like, a, just, like had like 400 countries on their side somehow. I'm not 100% sure, too sure how they did it. But, you know, that happened. We formed the Empire. We're basically have no money because we spent all of it just making the title. And now, I'm not actually 100% too sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to try to take the rest of the de jure land. If you, let's see here, you got, you know, the land that we're going to take and probably press a few claims. Like, right now, we could probably declare war on him. Does he have any allies? Genoa. They're down here, aren't they? Yeah. They're just like this little republic, so who cares about them? And then, who... They're part of the same dynasty as me? Who's this guy? What does he own? Okay. We're just going to declare war on this guy. Declare war. We're going to try to take... Which one of these little territories is actually better? Like, we're fabricating a claim. I don't need to do that now, because... Did I accidentally do something? I probably just did something stupid and put him back where he was, and I probably can't recall him, can I? No. But I don't need him doing that anymore, because we already have claims on all this. We probably also have some claims here, but this guy is allied with Russ, and Russ still has a bunch of troops, and I don't want to really deal with that at the moment. I think we also have a claim here, and I think he's just independent, so I guess we can just take him, pretty much. Breaking a tr oh wait we have a truce. No, it costs us fourteen hundred prestige. That's quite a bit. And also, apparently, I was checking. Apparently, I broke two truces earlier. I have no idea when that happened, but apparently, it did. Yeah, I also have a truce. With Why do I have so many truces with these people? I don't exactly remember when that actually happened. We can also create two titles, but great holy, great holy war, yada yada. Who's doing this? Yeah, something's happening. Russ is being attacked by maybe Crumania? Let me just check. Uh, it's loading. Okay, are you at war with Crumania? Get there. Defending against this guy. The Tangri Church. Okay, now where is the... Yeah, okay, we did something, which is good. But you, are you at war with Russ? No, you're not. So who's at, who's Russ actually at war with? Uh, which, which one of these is actually the capital of Russ? It's there, right? So the church declared the crusade. Cumania might join that. I'm not 100% too sure. And, but then I think if they do, they could probably take all of Russ in one single war, and I really don't like that! Cumania is kind of scary. And also Hungary has just destroyed itself in the Civil War. Well, I guess it's not Hungary. The, the area formerly known as Hungary, it just kind of exploded in the Civil War. Also, I should probably create some more of these duchies. But right now, I can't. I'm gonna take this one piece of land, because I don't think he's allied with anybody. He's not allied with anybody important, so... We're just going to take his land, and we're probably going to take one of these, one of these territories as well. Oh, yeah, I broke the truce. I, did, I didn't mean to do that. That was actually my fault, um, entirely. So you know that was stupid, but it's already happened, so it's not worth mentioning anymore. We're just going to completely ignore that that happened. Uh, raise local. Okay, we'll just raise the levies here. Can we raise them there? Can we raise them here? We can. Then we'll just kind of do that. So I think a lot of my vassals might be really angry at me right now because of breaking the truces. Uh, no, they're mad at me because I have too many held duchies. But other than that, they don't really care. I will create Pomerania. And then can I create the other one yet? Or do I, I think I need 100 gold, right? Yeah, so I'll do that once I reach the 100 gold. And then I'm just going to raise some troops on this side. And then just kind of siege this territory. Okay. 
and that should be the end of that. I hate how I lost so much prestige. How much prestige do I get? I get like 10 a month, which is a lot. Why do I get so much? Uh, Vassal Baronies times 16, Held Counties times 8. I'm still dumb for declaring this war, but you know, it's a little bit too late to worry about that right now. And then we can just kind of just march right here without any concern. So we'll just do that. Who are you? They're just, they're, where's this? This army was apparently up here somewhere. I don't know where. But they were doing something up here in Sweden. Uh, what is this? Wait, what is. Who are you? That's King of Russ. Well, you know, that was something. Good work there with that whole holy war. Okay, you... I need to get a claim somewhere. But I don't know where. I don't want to go in the Holy Roman Empire. I want somewhere near me, but there, everything's... That's Cumania, and I don't like that. And this is Rus, I think? Yeah. And I think I might have a claim on Estonia, too, so I don't know exactly what to do there, so I'm just going to kind of call him back. Actually, improve diplomatic relations with Cumania. I don't want to make them super mad at me. Like, what's their opinion of me? Negative 74. Uh, because I'm zealous. And, well, I guess I broke a truce, so it makes sense why everyone else is mad at me. So I'm going to, you know, try not to clear or break truces in the future, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, we can also create the other duchy of Lithuania. There we go. And then now we have three duchies too many, I think. Yes. Okay. So where one of these was here. You. I don't think. What's, why is his opinion so bad of me? Hell, duchies. He's ambitious. which sucks. Don't give him the kingdom of Lithuania. That just sounds like a bad idea. We'll give him the Duchy of Lithuania, so now he'll like me a bit more. Someone who's in Pomerania. How about you? Wait, which one? What's Pomerania? Duchy of Pomerania. That is... Oh, this is one territory. Okay, you can be the Duchy of this, like, one territory thing. And then I have one other county that's too high, right? Right? I think so. Uh, yeah, too many held duchies number, uh, by one. The duchy of here... And I don't have any territory in there, so I might as well just give it to him. He already really likes me. Does the other guy really like me? He does, and that's my heir. Grant the land a title of that duchy. There we go, okay. So now we dealt with our duchy problem. Uh, we should deal with... Wait, what's the defending... Okay, we'll deal with these 1,400 guys right there. We won the battle up here, so we'll just go back to the island. We'll take that. Was there a thing against Estonia I could declare war? Well, I have my armies raised, so it doesn't really matter right now. Somebody was captured in battle, which is good. You guys can just move up. Probably kill the rest of their forces. Uh, no, actually we haven't. But we will hopefully this time. Uh, no. Uh, I'm probably going to go back here, just split my armies up a little bit. No reason to have it as one big cluster, because they have, like, nobody. There we go! So now we, you know, kill- No, you stay there. Okay. And that should be that. We're basically taking all their territory right now. Also, we're at war with this one place up here near Finland. Why are they at war? Whose side are they on, and which one of these wars? This guy. Who am I at war with? I'm at war with you. Okay, I'm at war with them and them. And who really cares, I think, is what I'm going to save to that. Oh, we lost our marshal, which sucks. This guy's only 12, which is actually really bad. Do we have anyone better? 16, 12, 13, that's worse. Can't dismiss your regent. At least our regent really likes us. And then court chapel. Oh, we have a really good court chapel here. Improve religious relations. I let's go with the Holy Roman Empire, so they're not entirely mad at us. They might not be mad at us, but they're plus twenty-two. It could be worse. 
and someone died of a natural death, which sucks for them, but I don't really care right now. I want this guy to die. Can you just somebody kill him? I don't want him giving out everything like he's been doing. Here we go, we got a duchy. Or we got a territory, which is good. And then I guess we can just basically disband all of these guys. So now we're basically getting our uh, domain size back up. Which is good. Prush is at war with somebody. There's some sort of weird vassal wars going on. I should probably increase the the laws. My I can actually. Cannot change laws during Regency, which sucks. So, but I can still click that, right? You cannot change laws during Regency. I have a Regency, but it still said I can click it, and I just started the. I don't know what's going on. And I... Okay, that's good. We already got the... The law passed already, which is nice. So that means these guys shouldn't be fighting anymore, but I guess because they're already at war... I guess after the, their war is done, everything else will be good. The number is reported the majority population of the converted to the Catholic faith. That is good. Actually, let me look at the religious map mode right now. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, there's still a bunch of people who are these weird religious no one likes. Uh, let him rot. Is Russ at war with anybody? Is Cumania at war with anybody? Cumania. Yeah, they're still fighting this independence war. Uh, let me just look at diplomatic. Actually, yeah, they're fighting these guys. Wait, did all these Hungarian... One sec, pause. Like, did these guys actually win their civil war? They did, too. How did they accomplish that? They actually broke free of Cumania. And then you got Crimea here. Crimea, I don't know how you pronounce that. And then it just looks awful, because it's basically the same color. But, you know... But that means, I think I have a claim on this guy's land. I'm not 100% too sure. I think I did, If I was, because I kind of checked some of the things beforehand. And I think it did say I had a claim there. Okay, now we just dismiss this guy. What did I have claims in Estonia for? Holy War for Estonia, for that entire thing. And that's what religion? This weird religion that I can't pronounce. So basically, all these guys in Finland would declare war on me, probably. But, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. These guys down here, though, I remember I had a claim on him. Or at least I did. What are my claims now? Duchy, there, I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to really deal with them. Yeah, I know, I don't want to deal with these people. And I don't think I can actually take that territory, if I remember correctly. So I just have a bunch of claims on Cumania. But I don't even need those claims, because I can just declare Holy Wars. For a lot more room. Or for a lot more, you know, land. But I'm not going to do that because, let's see, see how big is Cumania? You know, view, realm tree. Only 27,000 guys, actually. That's much less than I actually expected. Okay, let me see. That is not who I care about. Holy Rome. Do they... Okay, just... Is there any way I can get an alliance with you? Because I think that would be for the best. Oh, God, what happened to... Oh, dear, what happened to France? Oh, God, the Holy Roman Empire is just being weird over there. Okay, arrange... I can't swear fealty to him. Uh, let me just... Wait, I also wanted to check if I could vassalize these guys. I probably can't because they all hate me now. Yeah, I know, foreign culture, they all hate me. Uh, would you offer vassalization? Probably not because you probably also hate me. False religion. Yeah. Okay, let me just look at the religious tab. So you got these guys down here. They might swear fealty to me. No, why not? Not my desire leads for in culture. And they're just they just don't want to. Which fine, if you want to be like that. I guess we're just gonna have to kill you in a war or something in the future. 
So let's do that. Let's let's just get some claims down here on these other countries that nobody really cares about. So now this guy, the Humanian, whatever his name is, he actually likes me a bit now, which is nice. There's more f things going on down there. Called Arm. Who's this guy? Who are you? Who are you at war with? That guy, Count of... Who are you, though? Why do I have an alliance with you? Somebody's something. Uh, shh. I mean, I don't want to lose prestige. I already lost like 1,200 earlier. So I'm not, I'm not going to even bother with their war. They can just have their little war. I'm just going to not try to lose the prestige. So then they can go fight it out. Do whatever they want. I don't really care. This guy hates me, right? Uh, yeah, negative 100. <sighs> wow, there's, he's got a lot of reasons to hate me. Uh, if, yeah, I don't care. Can I just die, though? Like, I'm incapable. Like, why can't I just die? We can invest in technology, which is nice. Uh, let's increase our heavy infantry, because I think they're the most important. And we'll, uh, construction, maybe? I don't want to do religious customs. Let's just get construction up. Actually, I think I could do another thing, couldn't I? Trade practices, church infrastructure. What does that give me? Temple tax. Okay, I'll increase my temple tax. Which sounds like a good idea. Like, I, I, Sweden just looks awful right now. Yay, we won something. I don't know. We didn't lose, which is important. Okay. Like, we should probably be trying to marry, like, who, my, my family. Uh, you're Mary, you're the Prince of Rust. How old is the Prince of Rust now? He's 11. How old is my daughter? 23. I don't care about the King of Rust. He's worthless. Yeah, he's married to... Marshall, heir to the Duchy of Transylvania. So if I kill him, my son-in-law... Becomes... I want him to die, too, so I can have my son-in-law be the ruler here, and then I can probably get a claim there. I'm not a- I'm still not 100% too sure how the claim system works. I don't want my- this guy to have any more kids. Okay, and then he's the Prince of Denmark. What- why- let me just see, go back to the Prince of Denmark. Where is his, where is he in the f thing that take the throne? He's got a weak claim on the kingdom of Denmark. Is there nowhere to scroll? Like, how do I see where he is in the throne? To take the throne. Can I look here? Family tree. Like, he's only have one. Like, who is... Okay, I finally died. Like, finally. We'll hold a grand tournament. What is this? Loose gold lady appears. Okay, whatever. But I'm glad that I died. That also means all our truces don't exist anymore. Yeah, but then, is it my sister? Who? Be who? Wait, who is this guy? Okay, yeah, he was our son. Siblings. Which one? You're the prince. Let me just see your family tree. How are you related to the king of Denmark? Like, why is he a prince? Well, they don't like me. I'm just gonna, you know, raise some levies here and crush the revolt. 
can't claim that. Can't raise those guys. We can raise them. Raising. Can't raise. I feel like my army's a lot smaller now. Like, what's my... Ooh, that's actually really bad. I gotta... I'm just gonna check my... Thing afterward. Afterwards. We'll just get these guys. Okay, you all group there. Like, what... How do my vassals feel about me? They probably don't feel great, do they? Yeah, no, a lot of them actually hate me. Why? Pause. Why do they hate me? Infidel desires it. Well, the liege is cruel. The liege is slothful. Why else? Short reign and eh, foreigner. Does this make any sense? How am I the foreigner in my own country? Like short reign is just the biggest thing right now. And I'm probably also dishonest. No, I'm honest. They don't like me for being honest. Wait, no, being. On it, I don't know. Some people just don't really like me. What? Do, why? Do, what do the people who love me like me for? For being content. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Apparently, I just have really bad things. I don't know why they're so bad though. You, my canceller. Later at the camp, that sucks. We had a daughter, which is good, I think. Like, who's the heir right now? The heir is my son. Piece of prince to the throne. Lose it. Oh, that sucks. Apparently, they lose the points. We should take care of those rebels. Was being proud make them hate me more? Maybe? I think some people hate me more for being proud. Dangerous factions. We almost lost to that rebellion somehow. Don't know how that almost happened. Yeah, but let me guess. There's a bunch of independence factions. Lord Crown Authority. Yeah, that's not happening. Someone wants my sister to be the, the prince or empress. Elect a succession. How about you? You just don't do that. Let me just get all these guys, just to, you know, stop what you're doing. Apparently I can't get him to stop. I can't even offer him the chance. Not you either. How about you? No. Also, we can get another one of these lands from this guy because we no longer have a truce. Which one of these is actually worth more? I was going to do this last time. Six. Oh, this one seems to be the best. We'll take Wellingrad because that one seems to be the best one. Who else do we... We probably have a lot of more claims that I don't exactly know about. You declare war. I'm going to just try to claim all of Estonia. Let me just make sure that... Yeah, it's just these people who are up there who really have to worry about that. Declare war. Claim Estonia. And I probably can't do anything here because I don't... I could do something here. Holy war for this area. For Finland. Are they Finland? No. And I probably can't do anything... Oh, I see... I can actually take a ton of Finland. Should I do this? Should this be a thing I do? Should I just take a bunch of Finland? I kind of really want to. That seems like something I want to do. But how powerful am I? Like nothing really compared to these guys. Oh, like 700. And... That's the entire. That's his entire realm's worth. 500 guys. Well, these guys are really garbage. How about you? Uh, wait, no. You. 801. These guys suck. Okay, let me just look at the religious tab. I could just take all of this. Fun fact, I'm just going to take all of that. Because I basically can. We'll, we'll reunite Finland under the great Wendish flag. We'll take their holy site. Uh, you... Are you... Why do you seem more powerful? You are slightly more powerful.
and then okay so I just did this now you might be thinking you made a stupid I, a mistake I probably did but where's the fun in not doing it that's 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 kind of the reasoning I have for this also, it might be really important for fighting off Cumania and the Holy Roman Empire at some point. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to raise my entire army. I can't do anything Holy Order-wise. I have a few guys down here, but they're not really too important. And then I'm just going to get these guys to gather up here. You guys can gather up there. You guys gather here. So then we have a few fighting forces. A lot of people like me now, which is good. I probably maybe shouldn't have put troops here but, or declared this war because now it's just splitting up my armies. Which might not have been the best thing. Also, I still don't want all my vassals to hate me. This guy really hates me. Why do you hate me so much? Who are you? And he claims, he claims my titles? Is that... You can call in allies. Who are you? Transylvania, maybe. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I think I might as well try. I don't really like them at all. Okay, now we have an ally, which is good in all of my wars, I think. So I'm just going to send them there. You guys, I'm going to send also here, because I probably made a bit of a mistake in gathering this all up. You guys just regroup there. You guys almost march there. Dangerous factions, once again. Can you stop that? I can't. And it's not granting you independence. And I'm, I might have to hire some mercenaries to fight all these wars. But you know, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Chase and Temperate. Yeah, sure. Temperate, I think, gave them extra money. Or extra skill in getting money. So we should win this war. We should be able to crush this guy. Smallpox is broken on this one territory, which sucks for them, but I don't really care. to kind of march up well they're just gonna I don't know why they thought that was a good idea but you know I'm not gonna complain about their dumb military tactics you guys are going here right yeah okay so we're just gonna march on you we should win we're winning more battles up here which is good I wish I could get holy orders but apparently I don't think they any of them exist yet We've captured somebody we're winning a few of these wars and then I'm going to split this army in half. Uh, you guys go back. There. Then you guys go over here. I'm not going to split this army in half. And I'm guessing it's like winter. Well, actually, no, it's September, so... Everything's good in that front. There's a lot of smallpox up here in Denmark. Sucks to be them. Oh, we've already won... A battle here. Offer peace. Enforce demands. So we've already won that war. So we can now just march up. We have too many domain size. Too many domain size. Uh, and we'll give it to somebody. Your courtier. No. That's my steward. Who's somebody who isn't doing anything? Okay, I'm just going to invite another guy into my army. Or into my court. Invite noble. Then I should, yeah, you grant land a title, everything lower, whatever title we just got, or whatever county it was. Yeah, right there. Okay, you can have that. Apparently, also, we're gonna crush a rebellion on the way, which is nice. Okay, you guys, yeah, you just gotta go march up. And these guys probably aren't going to surrender because they need 100%. 
I'm just, why am I even doing this? It just seems like... I don't know. I'm not 100% too sure why I'm doing this. Treachery, things are happening, seed was planted. I think that was on my side. Ooh. I'm probably getting taking war score because I don't have any other territory occupied. And I'm actually, at the end of the year, I'm probably going to end this one episode. And then next time, we're going to take over the rest of the... Whatever this region's called. Ooh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, reinforce, 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 please. Faster. There we go. Okay. These guys aren't going to be any use to me anymore. Can you just hurry up a bit, please? Thank you. Yeah, they're just kind of useless. I'm just going to keep them down here, I guess. Peasants have revolted. I don't like all this revolting that everybody's doing. And all my vassals still really hate me. Please don't hate me. Sure reigned. But all these people desire the kingdom of Lithuania. You want a kingdom? I'm not giving you a kingdom. Okay? <laughs> Why would I give you a kingdom? Think about it for a sec. Gonna have to crush these rebels first. You can just probably crush them. Becomes independent, I will not be blackmailed. This is probably gonna revolt in a independence war, which I don't like. Uh, independence. How strong are you? Like, what territory do you own? Oh, you're already where all my soldiers already are. Oh, they got the island too. Okay, you just march up. Uh, hold control. They don't go there. And all of you just march there. So then we got a bunch of more guys. Okay. So how long until these holy wars? I guess I should do something against them, shouldn't I? The answer is yes. So I'm actually going to march around and probably kill a bunch of these armies because I think that's going to be kind of important to do. Defeat, victory. Defeat. Wow, okay. They have like no soldiers, but apparently they have like the best soldiers anybody's ever seen in ever. Wasn't there 5,000 guys? Oh, but there's probably a bunch of guys right there. Okay. Defeat. Let us hope so. They're just kind of doing their thing. Okay, you just stop. You, yeah, you go. You meet there. We got these guys. Combine. Who's... Yeah, merge these guys into this army. Who's leading this army? How do I... you? How do I see who's leading the army? There's gotta be a way, right? I'm not exactly... 100% sure... 100% sure, 100 sure how that way is. Ooh, I really don't... Like, I probably shouldn't have started all these wars at once, but... You know... Was that Rust? Is, am I hostile towards Rust now? One sec. Russ, hostile towards the Wendis Empire. Wow, why was it? Why is that there 28 times? I'm not 100% too sure. I'm just gonna get these guys, you crushed rebels. And I guess I'm gonna end the episode right here. At least I think this is a good point to end. I feel like it's been, it's been a few years and we're probably gonna lose a bunch of these wars because I'm dumb and don't know how to how to do this thing properly. So goodbye.